Hey, my friend, welcome back. I hope the dreams are going well and we're learning a little bit about ourselves in the process. Today, we're going to take the next leap to healing with soul force, working with this healing vibration that is uh, present and available um, to us to uh, help bring about uh, healing. Uh, sometimes in the body, sometimes it could be emotional, sometimes it could be um, sort of intellectual or mental things. Uh, or it could be stuff just at the subtle body, the soul level that we're looking, looking to work on and to heal. Um, the process essentially is the same, but today I'm going to walk you through something, uh, a healing meditation that will bring healing to uh, a physical aspect of yourself. And so I'm not going to talk too much because this is more about the experience and learning how to open up and be a channel for this healing energy and learning how to sort of direct that healing energy, um, where you feel like you need some healing. So there are two ways to go about this. We can very intentionally and very consciously direct this healing energy to an area uh, of the body or ourselves that is in need of repair or some tender love and care. Uh, we can also work with this energy to allow it to intelligently move through the body wherever we most need the healing. So there's two ways to go about it. We're gonna do the intentional healing today uh, just to make it a more conscious process and for you to connect with it in that way. I want to preface this section with, uh, I am a, a true, um, I don't want to call it even a believer. I, I am a practitioner of energy healing. I use it on myself. I use it uh, on uh, friends and family and people who um, ask and request it. Sometimes in my work, I do work with energy in this way. A hundred percent have faith and confidence in its ability to, to deliver tangible and real results. Um, with that being said, it is one dimension of the healing process. And uh, the truth is, at least in my experience at this point, sometimes the human body is uh, broken. It is, soft tissues are torn, whatever it is, uh, in a way that require medical intervention or nutritional intervention or some sort of um, intervention that we commonly see, obviously, in the Western world. Uh, I by no means am a non-believer in Western medicine. Uh, I think that uh, the healthiest path forward, and this is my own belief, is combining energy healing and some of that Eastern medicine with uh, some of the uh, practices and tools that we have at our disposal in a very practical way in the Western world. And I feel like uh, combining those two things and sort of walking a middle path when it comes to our health and healing um, is really a, a fantastic integrated approach to um, working with our own health and healing. I myself have had two ankle surgeries. I broke my collarbone, uh, both injuries uh, related to playing football. And the funny part about um, my ankle is that the first time that I really, really severely injured it my freshman year of college, um, I heard it in a practice and I did energy healing all week. I was walking on crutches all week and uh, I did the energy healing on myself all week and came uh, come game time, I played. And I played hard and I had a pretty good game <laughs> and uh, and the and I was able to kind of maintain uh, playing the rest of the season of course it was wrapping it and icing and all that stuff but I was no longer on crutches like I was for the first few days so that was an interesting experience I had to go ooh, there's something to this energy healing stuff I was you know 18 years old at the time there really is something here but at the same time uh, not even a year later, the ankle fully gave out and it required a, a first arthroscopic surgery. And then again, I needed to go in for uh, a reconstructive surgery on the ankle. Uh, but I did use energy healing in that healing process as well. And uh, I, will, I will attribute that to, I had a great surgeon, a great doctor. I had a great physical therapist. Uh, I was on point with my nutrition. I was doing energy healing and I was doing all the things the physical therapist said to bring about healing. And uh, I was running. It was actually kind of an, an experimental procedure. It was something that uh, is new and they had been working on. And so they tracked my progress and I recovered really, really fast from that process. And I attribute it to all of the things. Um, so I just wanted to share that reflection, uh, because in my experience, uh, being a practitioner of working with the human body and nutrition and, and physical fitness as a profession at one point in my life, um, always kind of dabbling in the energy work, uh, since I was a teenager, I had, that's been a part of my life as well. Uh, I would, I would be misleading you to say that I don't, I don't really truly believe in value. Uh, both aspects of the healing tools, or I should say kind of both schools of thought 
when it comes to the healing tools that are available to us. So uh, I want to teach you this energy healing practice so that um, maybe it can help you with some physical pain you're experiencing uh, randomly now. Uh, maybe it's helpful for chronic pain. Maybe there's something that you're really moving through. You're moving through a, uh, a tough um, health time right now and you might be working with uh, medicines or chemotherapy or something like this. Uh, maybe you're going through surgery and I, I still feel uh, that there is value to using the energy work to help support that process and that journey. Um, and kind of like all of this work, I'm excited to see what happens when we apply it in our own way. You know, you might be unlocking a, a real deep healing capability in you that you didn't even know exists. And you might have experiences that I've never had uh, that get to be reflected back as well. And I'm super excited about that. So I just want to kind of open this door and allow you to step through it and see what experiences it brings about. Um, but I just do want to, to kind of preface it with, uh, I, I'm not somebody who just thinks that we think or, or energy heal everything away. I'm just, that just hasn't been my experience. I'm not saying that it's not possible, uh, but I just want to be honest and frank about it. But I do believe it is tremendously helpful, and I do think there is really a lot of value to doing energy work in this way. Um, I have seen some pretty powerful transformations and healings um, happen, uh, not just with myself, but with other people. And I often think that it's a combination of all the tools that we have at our disposal to allow that allow that uh, to happen. All right. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to get into a uh, a soul force field meditation. And once we get into that soul force field meditation, we're going to call in uh, divine healing and, and divine healing intelligence. And uh, we're going to imagine a pair of healing hands uh, starting to work with us in a subtle way. So we want to use our visualization abilities uh, that we've been de developing with the third eye. If we can't see it, we want to feel it and sense it. Uh, this pair of divine healing hands is then going to work with whatever area of our body uh, that we're going to work with some physical pain. So the way I see it, if we're having really intense physical pain, we do this meditation and it subsides even for 20 minutes, an hour, a couple days. Maybe it doesn't go away forever, but it's just a little bit at a time. That to me is valuable. That to me is proof that there is something to this uh, energy work. And that's what I hope to, uh, the experience I hope to lead you to that we can explore and discover uh, more and more as we go along the way. Okay, so if you're ready, go ahead and find your favorite meditation spot, position, and just kind of get ready and prepare yourself to do the Soul Force Field Meditation. Go ahead and enter into some conscious breathing to get it started. and enter into some rhythmic breathing.
ahead and drop a grounding cord, get into that soul force field meditation, anchoring in a safe and peaceful space. divine loving awareness to be present in this healing process and we're going to set the intention to bring in some health and healing for our physical body in this session. And as you set that intention and you breathe, imagine your heart center activates and you begin to either see or feel or sense a pair of healing hands, divine healing hands, and they glow that beautiful vibrant color green of the heart center. This is that healing center where the spirit and body become one. And just like when you're working with the chakra system, kind of charge up the healing energy in this pair of healing hands. And this could be your physical hands and you can also picture it in your mind's eye. Imagine a subtle body version, the hologram of these healing hands. And just call in the divine, the highest divine healing into this pair of healing hands. And once you can feel the presence of those hands, go ahead and find the location on your body where you like to bring about the healing. And if you can reach, you can physically place your hands or you can just keep it in your mind's eye and imagine this pair of healing hands resting directly on the area of the body that is in pain where you'd like to administer healing. And now set the intention to bring in healing light and repair to the center. 
And with every inhale, imagine you're charging up, drawing in that high vibrational healing. And as you exhale, release, the energy begins to flow into the area of the body that needs healing. Allow your breath to be the channel that allows this healing vibration to flow. And you can continue to just focus on your breath and your breathing. And every time you exhale, you can feel anything that's blocking the healing being removed from your field. And just filling that area with a bright, high vibrational healing light. You can feel and sense with every breath, whatever is heavy, dense, or in the way of this healing gets pulled away into the grounding cord and released from your field. next as you continue to breathe you can imagine feeling and seeing the reparation of that part of your body taking place so looking at all the way down to the cellular level if it's soft tissue if it's bones if even it's just energy whatever it is you can see it reconstituting itself you can feel what it feels like to be healthy and healing Just tap into the healthy and healing aspect of yourself. And really focus your attention and your awareness on the healing already taking place. Go ahead and give thanks for the healing that came through today. Just sit in that subtle vibration, allowing it to integrate and take root. Feeling healthy, feeling whole, feeling balanced. 
feeling healed. We're going to do three big energy clearing breaths. Where we're actually going to fill our body and our field from head to toe with that bright and vibrant healing light and allow it to rinse through and wash away any impurities, anything that's heavy and dense, anything that stands in the way of the healing gets fully released and cleansed from our field today. So on your next exhale, on your next inhale, take a big deep breath in. Imagine yourself filling up with this bright and vibrant green healing energy from head to toe. Exhale, release. Feel that wash of green energy rush through the body all the way down into the ground. Let's do another one. Big deep breath in. Exhale, release. Good. One more time. You can imagine putting your hands above your head. You can actually put your hands above your head and imagine pure healing light comes in through the fingertips. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, release, wash it all into the ground as you sit in this pure state of healing. give thanks for this opportunity to practice together. We give thanks for this opportunity to bring in this healing energy and we give thanks for any healing that came through today, now and into the future. And most importantly, we give thanks for this opportunity to be alive and breathing. And once you've said your gratitude, go ahead and open your eyes. Hmm. How does that feel? Generally, how do you feel? Think about the area of your body you were focusing on, kind of just bring your awareness to how that feels now. And recognize that you can use this practice and utilize it whenever you'd like, as often as you'd like. Whatever intuitively feels right and good to you, work with it, explore, experiment. This is sort of your divine right to be able to tap into and welcome in this healing vibration and work with it for your own health and healing. Uh, I often say with this work too, it's I have a hard time not looking at it like going to the gym. It's like if we go into the gym and uh, we do some squats, we can't expect that our legs uh, after one day of doing squats are all of a sudden gonna be super strong and they won't get tired. Um, just like anything else, there's practice and we can kind of build strength and resiliency. And we can really strengthen this connection. The more we work with it, the more we utilize it, the more we'll learn sort of these subtle intuitive nuances of it. But we can strengthen this connection. We can strengthen this ability to heal ourselves and not just ourselves, but to be a channel for this energy uh, with others as well. We all have that capability. If the channel's clear, we're open, we're sincere and honest in our intention to bring about uh, and to be a channel for divine healing. Um, it's part of who we are. And I think it's time that we work with it. We learn about it more. We come to understand it more deeply. We come to practice it so that it can be a real uh, practical component of how we care for ourselves and how we um, work with our own healing in conjunction with uh, the ways in which we can exercise the body and rehab it and train it and feed it and nourish it uh, with food and with water and beverages and vitamins and nutrients that uh, support 
a balanced and healthy uh, physical body. Because a balanced and healthy subtle body uh, certainly influences a balanced and healthy physical body. And a, a healthy and balanced physical body creates a really um, powerful container to be a channel for um, balanced and healthy subtle body. So they're interconnected and really they're one and the same. So uh, I think it behooves us to work from both ends in the physical material way on our health, healing and balance and to work on it from a subtle body level, from a soul force field level on uh, harmony, health, healing and balance. And I think if we work at it from both sides, uh, we really start to learn how to become a more integrated, more conscious, uh, more healthy and aware uh, being altogether. So let me know how, how this goes for you. Let me know uh, how it works. Let me know if you experience anything that you find interesting or insightful or profound. Um, we're all learning and growing on this journey together. So I really look forward to hearing about your individual experience with it. Um, you know, each one of us is a unique individual expression. So who knows what we unlock when we start to become a channel like this in our own way. But I'm excited to see where it goes. So let me know. Uh, follow the prompts connected to this video. Explore, experiment, and, uh, and begin to work with this practice as much and as often as you'd like. And uh, I'm really excited to see where, where this evolves for you. So when you're ready, click into the next section, next video. And we're going to tap into some, uh, some more of being a channel for uh, loving awareness, for our loving truth, for soul force energy and soul force intelligence. And we're going to work with automatic writing, which is a practice I also discovered early on in my journey uh, in my teen and teenage years. And uh, it has been a, for me, a very um, powerful personal practice that I still uh, uh, lean on and connect to to help guide my, my life and my journey. Um, and it's a, been a really, a really a powerful way for me to tap into that divine, intuitive, uh, loving intelligence in me. So we're going to open up uh, the channel a little more in this next step, see how it works for you, uh, and see how else you can be a, a, a more connected uh, channel for that divine, loving awareness, for that soul force energy that is kind of pulsing and coursing through you. So when you're ready, click into the next section and we're going to talk about some automatic writing and we'll see where that goes. I'm excited. I'm ready for you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.